Okay. Okay. So the next topic: social media marketing. Okay, I'm gonna. I I I okay. I want to talk about this because I have a customer that tell me, "Hey, Aaron, uh, have you? Are you gonna advertise it on Facebook? Are you gonna advertise it on Instagram?" Then I was like, "Whoa, this is a advanced seller, you know." But the thing is, I start explaining to him. Okay. I think many many people are proposing for social media marketing. Many agents are charging like extra for social media marketing. Uh, maybe the agent will say, "Hey, you know, I'm gonna do a video for you. I'm gonna market it on Facebook. I'm gonna market it on Instagram. So my service fee is blah 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 instead of blah 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 blah." Okay, so maybe there's a two package thing. I'm not too sure. Okay, but to me, right, I, I don't do that lah. To me, I give the best for all the units that I market, and of course, to me. I just agree, you know. I give you a price. This is my price, and whether you agree or not, it's like for this price, I do the best out of it. It's not like because he's paying me more, and I do it. I do the more out of it, lah. I don't think it's correct. Okay, anyway, but this is just my own social ethics. Okay, so why am I talking about this social media marketing? Is because uh, I think uh, many many people do not understand social media marketing, and I think there's also a lot of agents on my on my video. Okay, on my. As a subscriber, and also watching this, so to me, social media marketing for property, right? Property selling is not very useful. Okay, throughout my years in the industry, ah, I always hear things like, "Hey, Aaron, my neighbor may want to buy my unit." Hey, Aaron, my neighbor says that the upstairs auntie gonna buy my unit. Hey, Aaron, my friends staying nearby may want to come and buy my unit. Okay, in my ten years plus ah in the industry, I heard a lot of this. I think it's very common. Okay, so maybe you, some of you also hear this. But you see ah, in my ten years ah, when this 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 happen ah, never a time ah, I sold off to the neighbor or sold off to the neighbor auntie, sold off to the friend, never. Okay, you see ah, we have to understand. Again, I have to emphasize this. Property is a big big ticket item. It's not kuih peng. Okay, every time I say it's not chicken rice lah, you know. So the way you buy chicken rice, sell chicken rice, the way you manage it is totally different from doing a property. So you see the people that let's say today I'm going to market a unit. Let's say ah four to eight Pongo. Okay, so if you want to buy four to eight Pongo, right? The people that will buy four to eight Pongo basically have a reason. They either have a reason that they want to move to Pongo. Ah, they want to stay near their parents. They want to stay near a school. Ah, they want to um. Uh, I don't know. They like the place, or there's a reason why they want to stay here. So when people come and view a certain unit, right, or looking for a certain place, right, there is always a reason already confirmed, meaning that they already know that there's a reason before they come. They don't come looking for a reason. Okay, so when we go online, let's say you go on Property Guru or Nine Nine dot co, you can search on property. Then you say, "Hey, Pongo for sale, uh, blah, 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 four room flat block four hundred to four three zero, and come out four to eight." Okay, so for two A Pongo, so you why how do you find this unit? You find this unit because you have a criteria in your heart. Okay, the buyer really have a criteria in the heart. So the buyer can view here because the buyer is interested to buy this area instead of the buyer do not where know where this place is just looking around. You know, it's hardly that way. But you see, for social media marketing, ah, let's say today, what am I going to do? I'm going to like put social Facebook marketing and say I'm going to tell people in Pongo that I'm selling for two A. Pongo example or four two eight H two plane then, then like let's say everybody is looking at four two eight H two staying at Pongo will see the advertisement pop out in their face point 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 then the thing is like I'm not I'm not in like let's say it appears to on my Facebook and I'm like I'm not interested by I'm not interested to get a unit here and I'm already staying here you know so you see when people buy something ah the the buying process ah has a lot of decisions has a lot of reasons to it. So, the social media marketing way, right, that creates the exposure for the unit doesn't direct it to the correct target audience. Wow, I'm getting very timid. Okay, actually, I I have a degree in marketing. That's why I talk like that. Okay, so, uh, it doesn't target to the target audience, and the buyer behavior is totally different. So it's very, it's very wrong, you know. Like if you put on Instagram, so what if someone, you know, okay, Instagram is a worse lah because you don't get a lot of. Older people using Instagram and people use Instagram in a very casual way. So, Instagram target audience is mostly the younger ones, not really towards the people that will actually buy property in a way, lah. In a way, this is what I feel. So, when you do this kind of like social media marketing, right? It is it doesn't target the right group of people that's buying. It doesn't 
to me it's a waste of money okay uh then people will be asking like youtube okay youtube to me is like okay so i do i do video so some of you see my video i put what cx star or whatever so i do that because um i create a hype so let's say for example i seen this unit it's a good buy you know so cs star is a good buy that's why i post it up so i took a video i post it up you know if people look at it people look at the link you know this is like to me it's just an extra chance to me does it really work to the extent i don't think so not not on youtube people don't go youtube and put like pongo for sale then try out what are the units for sale but of course i post the video you know i the video itself i'm uh, not digital marketing the video itself that content right is going to help in the sales of the pongo 428 so if i take a good video okay when i say good video right of course in my uh in i have an episode of like ha huh, why my house not so okay the episode is i think here okay i think i can edit in youtube you can click here so i talk about this topic whereby you if you want to sell a property right you cannot you cannot show everything to people so meaning that let's say pongo 42 is not a beautiful house i cannot be going into pongo 42 and take a video of the whole house and the video doesn't impress the buyer do you think the buyer will come you know it's like a adverse effect it doesn't help at all so only if the unit is not too bad or unit is beautiful then you do video marketing you do photos very nice photos you know so when a video when a unit is not too nice i will always take like vi- photos of the nice part okay so this is a- another episode so you can watch it so to me is yes the video works so but not the not youtube not not instagram not not facebook because it doesn't it doesn't give a very you're not firstly the target audience is wrong they are not the people that is interested to buy secondly the the buyer behavior in this in these platforms are different they are not people looking for properties they are people staying here uh i mean if you are advanced enough uh, I, I mean i attend a lot of this kind of courses if you are advanced enough to actually target those people on facebook that is actually buying property like really looking for pongo for two i don't know how you do it okay? from my knowledge is like Hai di lao zhen, okay, meaning that you're gonna like find a needle in the sea. So, yeah, so I don't think it works, okay. So, this is just my uh, opinion, okay. So, the best way to sell a property is still take good videos, take good photos. Uh, I tell you, description is also bullshit. You don't need to tell people where, how many uh, schools you have, uh, how many you really don't need. You know, the olden days, yes, you need to tell people how many schools because of the internet. Uh, literacy or the internet uh level is different so nowadays people don't come over here and say hey you know how far is this from mahabudi how far is this from aitong people don't buy property like this nowadays people already go to the the moe app or whatever they already like churn out another one kilometer of all the properties that is applicable to aitong then they start viewing from there so you see the buyer behavior is like from here to here they build up they don't go and view then they start to 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 understand what they want it's not it's not okay and even if they view and understand what they want right they don't view location and understand what they want they view types they view the different types of property or the or the different uh stacks because the maybe the layout is different and all these things so it's really really very different it's really because i i I have sellers that tell me hey aaron you know my house is near where near where near where how many minutes to the market and how many minutes uh, you know this thing really doesn't apply anymore yes i do you know like three four years ago i still like have buyers asking us this question we have buyers that we intro the buyer this way but in the recent years buyers really don't ask this question then when we say oh uh, uh, near mahabudi he'll say ah yeah i know and sometimes they don't even want to hear you know it's like it's like when they say hey you know there's a chij there then in in their heart they're like hey but my i don't have a daughter like i have two sons so sometimes it's not really applicable in a way okay so um this is my my take on social media marketing for selling a property okay so i hope it helps and i see you in the next episode hit the subscribe button like button share button and i see you again let's go